Um, hi guys, um, I'm Lerato from Cape Town, South Africa. And before we start our piece, we'd actually like to thank the whole BNV um, festival for actually having us on the stage. It is a huge opportunity and privilege for us because we're not able to do this in our country. So for us to actually have voices here is amazing. <laughs> They say the battlefield sometimes resembles heaven. Death, Death angels, angels with, with gas, gas masks as halos and, and AK-47 bullet, bullet slings as wings were, were determined to fly. fly. High enough to seek redemption with wind beneath our bloodied feet. Cracks, Cracks of grief can cut deeper, deeper than, than you think. think. My name is Cry No More. Bred in a village of villains where humans eat humans' playgrounds, drenched with blood and remains of innocent man. Street corners rife of cacophonies of gunshots. One shot shatters a mother of two with bread and milk and a baby infant to an ailing backsy. The, the innocent, innocent are under, under attack. attack. Black on black, prominent figures of the morality so sightly, sadly lax, I say, bring back our discarded past. Where black masses threw stones because of tear gas to our oppressors and not our neighbors. Where black panthers spoke of revolution against the system which tried to enslave, brainwash, and encage us. Black now infamous. They call me the terror. Ever since the day I was born, I never saw the tears of joy flow down my mother's face. The rebels ripped me from a womb, call me designer baby, made for war. Oh. Watching eyeballs sweat while I carve my initials and young girls pav the girdles, leaving nothing but tombstones behind me. Watching hemoglobin colored courage dripping from their cold corpses, I watched the rebels help me terminate my village. No more children playing in the dust. No more mothers cradling half-dead infants. No more human life. We were terrorizing people in their own home enough to make them refugees in their own country. I will masticate your flesh into a velvet obituary of pain. Beg me not to unwind your spine into an unapologetic rifle for rebel victories. Beg me not to crack your neck into a ricochet bullet for African symphonies. I will repossess the tears that once belonged to my father's knees bent. Beg me not to euphemize your passing. They call me the terror. I have no country except that which I'm obliged to belong. I have no gun except that which is thrust upon my hands. I have no name. I have no name. See, there is something asphyxiating about existing to end existence. Something debilitating about creating amputees and cretins out of homo sapiens. Sapiens like me, breathing the same air, under the same sky, but I am not. I am not. The stars don't see me when I sleep. I am a statistic. The nth degree to which Africa is rotting. Call me gangrene, call me cancer, call me suicidal, just anything, call me anything, anything for a name. Just don't, don't leave me here to rot within the skin cells of my own body. A machine. Dico Domini, cogito ergo sum. I have a name. My name is Junior Sawyer. My name is Valentina. My name is Ishmael Bey. Dulce et decorum es pro patria mori. It's no, no eulogy, eulogy for, for the, the dead. dead. Let's go! Let's go!